family and I are in beautiful Big Bear this week. We're tent camping at Serrano Campground campsite 117. So we're here for eight days and I'm gonna just give you a glimpse of uh, how to eat whole plant food uh, while you're camping. If you could do it while you're camping, you can do it pretty much anywhere because you don't have the luxuries of stoves and microwaves and refrigerators and freezers and all that good stuff that we have at home. So if you can do it camping, you can eat healthy anywhere. Planning is involved. You must plan your meals uh, before you go. And this is our campsite. There's Adam. We have a bear box because there are bears here. And picnic table, there's our tent. We have a little fire pit and it is August, so it's nice and warm. It's in the 80s during the day. It's chilly uh, in the morning, dips down to the 50s. And we got a lake view site. So the lake is that way behind me. Here we are. This is the lake right in front of our lake view campsite at Serrano Campground. Because we're here for eight days, I'm just gonna give you a glimpse of what we eat um, for typical breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. It's important to have a cooler. That's the number one tip I would say. So this is lunch. It's pretty simple. It's just gonna be a sun butter and banana sandwich. You can do it with any nut butter, almond, cashew, peanut, whatever you'd like. And I'm pretty much gonna try to eat this every day for lunch. Uh, don't be afraid of routine. If you can eat the same thing over and over, that is ideal, um, especially for weight loss because it takes the thinking out of what to eat. And if you like it, why not eat it over and over if you know um, it's healthy and it's low calorie density. So I'm using um, my favorite Ezekiel whole grain bread and um, sun butter and you're getting your protein from the sunflower butter. Also, if you are not too hungry, you can eat it as an open face sandwich. As far as drinks for your camping trip, um, you wanna buy a large uh, two and a half gallon um, container like this. Buy a few if you're gonna be here for a long time and just fill up on water the whole time. So you don't need to have any sodas or any other drinks other than water on your camping trip because that will hydrate you the best and it is the healthiest at zero calories. And if you're looking for a healthier option for prepared food so that it's easy while you're camping, um, I recommend these Dr. McDougal soups. Dr. McDougal is a whole plant food doctor and these um, soups are really delicious and they're oil free and they're lower sodium. <laughs> So it's three o'clock and it's time for a little snack. We have some fruit. We have apples, peaches, and plums. I had an apple, now I'm having a peach. Pretty much you can bring most any fruit because fruit doesn't need to be refrigerated. So when you're in the produce section, shopping for your camping trip, bring any fruit that you'd like that wouldn't bruise easily. And it's time to play. Ooh, it's so fun. So it's dinner time now and for dinner I'm going to have some potatoes. I've got a white potato here, a sweet potato, and a red potato. Um, with the potatoes I'm going to have some quinoa. I have dry quinoa here that is very easy to cook um, when I'm camping. Um, and also some green peas. Uh, this was in our cooler with some ice. so. Um, I'm gonna cook all three and add some salt. So all three are pretty easy to make with the quinoa. I'm gonna add one cup of quinoa, two cups of water and just boil it. Let it sit for about 15 minutes on a simmer. And um, for the potatoes, I'm gonna boil it. So this is my setup right here. I'm gonna chop the potatoes. I have um, a cutting board that we got from Ikea. It's a small one. We have our sharp knife that we brought from home. But I do recommend um, if you don't already have one, you wanna probably get some kind of a, a camping stove because that'll open up your options um, as far as um, what to cook that is whole plant food. So my potatoes are boiling and I cut them in pretty small pieces because they will cook much faster if they're chopped. If you put them in whole, uh, you can do that, but it will take a little bit longer. So this should take about 15 minutes uh, until they're fork tender. 
and the quinoa is just about ready. And now I'm just sauteing the peas with a little bit of water. So this is my finished product and I've got my grain, which is a protein and two types of veggies. And this is very simple. I like to eat simple. Uh, if you want to make it fancy, you can add whatever seasonings you'd like. I just added salt. You can get any grain, veggie and protein you'd like and just switch it up. So for the grain, you can get rice, um, you can also use couscous or any other grain like bulgur, uh, veggies, you can do broccoli, um, asparagus, green beans, whatever your favorite veggie is. And um, for the protein, you can do black beans, garbanzo beans, quinoa. Tofu is another protein you can include. The possibilities are endless and you can just mix any protein, grain, and veggie and have a great meal. Oops. What do you girls think about this activity? Great. So we're sitting here by the fire and my family just roasted some marshmallows and they're eating s'mores. Uh, no thank you, none for me, please. Well so, then, the people who are watching this eat. No, I think the people who are watching this probably are trying to eat healthy. They're trying to eat whole plant food, but it's possible that they do want to eat that. It's very tempting, I have to say. It's very tempting when my family eats this food but you just, if you if you have this way of life and you're following this path um, of whole plant food, of eating whole plant food, then you just really need to be strong and have really strong willpower and be very disciplined because, oh yes, it's tempting. Oh. But, they ate it. So yeah, grab a fruit and that can be uh, your dessert. And over time, you will feel satisfied with that. Might take some training in the beginning. So I'm enjoying this gorgeous, gorgeous scenery. Good morning, it's the next morning and we are gonna have some oatmeal for breakfast. So we've got some boiling water here and this is the contents of our oatmeal. I've got quick oats um, for that. You just put your boiling water over the oats in your bowl and wait a few minutes and it's done. Um, if you do prefer to use old fashioned oats or traditional oats, add your oats to boiling water and cook over medium heat for about five minutes. I'm gonna have maple syrup with my oatmeal and um, I do have raisins here for my family. They like the raisins, but I'll have sliced almonds and fresh banana. Here's my oatmeal and it looks delicious. Pretty much I'm having oatmeal every morning while we're out here for all seven mornings. Um, except for one morning, tofu scramble is um, what we'll have for one morning. And um, I don't get bored of the same breakfast over and over. It's so delicious to me. Uh, banana oatmeal is kind of like having banana bread in oatmeal form. So I love the flavor and I don't get tired of it. And it's easy, healthy and um, filling. So I'm having that every morning and I'm loving it. A squirrel got a hold of my nuts. So it looks like I'm not gonna be having almonds for the rest of this trip for my oatmeal. So it's 10 o'clock, it's about snack time. For snack, I'm just gonna have some crackers and greens and they're whole grain crackers. I have a few to choose from. So I've got my Wassa crackers, um, Edward and Sons rice crackers, and also some Mary's crackers. Um, I've got my greens. And we just got these today. So it's day four of our trip. And um, we went to the grocery store to replenish our ice supply and um, some of our fruits because our ice finally melted. So I'm really happy that it lasted this long. That was pretty good. I thought we were gonna have to change the ice after a couple of days, but it lasted four days. Usually I would have my whole grain crackers and greens with um, hummus or miyokos, which is a cashew based um, cheese that is pretty clean. Um, it's one of the cleaner ones out there, and um, but I don't have those, so I'm just gonna eat the greens with the crackers by itself, and it should be fine. <laughs> so it's lunchtime right now, and I'm having a sun butter and strawberry sandwich. How was it? Fun! Yay! Hi, so it's dinner time. For dinner we're gonna have rice, French bean lentils, and mixed veggies. So you've got your grain, your protein, and your veggies. It's a very well-balanced dinner.
dinner and I'm just gonna water saute the veggies. We got these at the local grocery store here in Big Bear. And um, I got these from Target. For the minute rice, it's super simple to make and I highly recommend minute rice if you're going camping. I also have brown rice. So it's just one to one ratio, one cup water, one cup rice. Boil one cup of water. Once it's boiled, um, add the rice, let it sit for five minutes and it's done. And as far as the French green lentils, it's four to one ratio, four cups water, one cup lentils, and you just cook it for 20 minutes and it's done. So here I have um, the rice. The rice is ready. And the French green lentils are cooking right now. So this is my finished product. I have my grain, my protein, and my veggies. And I added a little bit of soy sauce for some flavoring. You can add any sauce or seasoning that you'd like. Um, and it's a super healthy meal. It's very simple, but very healthy and very delicious. I am really enjoying this meal. And it shows that you don't have to eat fancy foods to eat foods that taste good and are healthy for you. As far as going up and down the mountain before and after your trip, you're probably gonna wanna stop to eat. And we stopped at a place called Chop Stop, which was amazing because you could build your own salad. They had tons of vegan options and they even had vegan dressings, although they did, did have oil in them. And um, I just brought a baggie with nutritional yeast, salt, and I brought some lemon and that was my dressing. I highly recommend that you stop at Chop Stop. It was awesome. So I hope this was helpful in giving you a glimpse at how to eat healthy and whole plant food while you're camping. In summary, my tips are to pack a cooler and make sure you have ice with you so you can bring some veggies and fruit. Um, bring the veggies and fruit that don't bruise easily and that keep well. And also bring lots of water, ideally the two and a half gallon containers and bring your own water bottles and just drink as much as you can. Uh, that'll keep you hydrated and also keep you feeling kind of satiated and not like wanting to snack all the time. That's my other tip. Um, try to avoid snacking when you're not hungry. Uh, it's too easy to do, but try to avoid that. And also um, cook foods that are simple and easy to make, not overwhelming. And also eat the same foods over and over. Um, if you love oatmeal like I do, you know, feel free to eat that every day. There's nothing wrong with eating the same foods over and over. If it works for you, if you know it's cal low calorie density then and healthy, then why not? Thank you so much for watching and happy camping and happy plant eating.